Hello, we just landed in a brand new state that we've never been in before, Nebraska. We're here in Omaha. We're going to do a day in Lincoln. We're here for 72 hours. Of course, we're going to hit up the zoo. We're going to have some drinks, some food, and in this video, we're going to show you everything that we do. Now let's go find something to eat. We are at our first location and look at all the deers crossing. We landed at 7.30 p.m., so therefore it's dinner time. And starting off at Alpine Inn, where they're known for fried chicken and raccoons. Well, we got our table by the window, and right now there's a cat. What this uh, restaurant's known for is that they take their scraps that people don't finish, and they put them outside for the wildlife. Since they are known for their fried chicken, of course we got the fried chicken, we're splitting a platter. This runs about $13 or so. It all comes with potato wedges and macaroon salad. And then we got two beers, and these beers are two fifty dollars yeah. from a local brewery. They just dumped out some more chicken. Apparently, whenever uh, you don't finish your meal, it goes into a gallon container, five gallon container. Once it is filled, they pour it out. And as it's getting dark, a raccoon showed up. He's eating the fry, I think, right now. Maybe chicken. There's a little bit of glare, but oh no, he's running away. It is great fried chicken, and now there are five raccoons. Very, very interesting concept. Finishing off with a caramel apple cheesecake. I love cheesecake, it looks delicious. And there's even more raccoons. They're <laughs> everywhere right now. Grab two beers at Lumen Beer Company. We Good had, stuff. yeah, we had an orange Julius, very easy to drink. It was a hard seltzer, and it was it was really easy to drink. And then we had a fourteen percent with like cocoa nibs and vanilla beans. It was you definitely it was smoother than what a fourteen percent should be. Still a little heavy, and they had a Kermit the Frog and a puffin. We stopped by Fizzy's Fountain and Liquors, and it's a very unique place here. I got the Easy Jet here. You're drinking the a, a white Russian slushy. And it's a very unique place. You have a 50 style like house there. Then you have a bar. And then over here is a 50 restaurant and diner type themed. If you do sit in the diner area or the home area, they do have these old fashioned phones. And what you do is you pick it up, press a button, and it goes to the bartender and they will deliver your drink. Our last stop for the evening is Beercade 2. Love the neon sign. They also have a Beercade 1 somewhere else in the city. Someone is excited they have a sticker machine. One of them just says it's butts on things. Pizza with a butt, camera with a butt, football with a butt. Oh, that's a classic sticker. I absolutely love this booth that shaped as an arcade game. And of course, it's an arcade bar. Most with, game, yep, most of the games, 25 cents. We got $5 of quarters. I'm drinking a beer from Illinois, and I think you're drinking a beer from Iowa, I believe. A hard cider. Both of them are hard ciders. I also love the murals going to the bathroom of Link and Zelda. They have different trivias here, like Super Nintendo trivia, and Sega Genesis trivia. Sega was my first uh, game I owned. Or you can do the best of the worst tournament, uh, Super Slam Shrek. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but probably, probably, game. probably one of the worst games, I would assume. Our first full day, and of course, the reason why we're here is the zoo. It's supposed to be one of the best zoos in the country. And we're probably going to spend most of our day here because we've heard it's giant. People recommend two days. We're not going to spend two days, just the one day. But let's see some animals. Currently in the lead forest part of the zoo, and something I don't think we've ever seen before. Look at all these bats 
and they can fly around, they can get very close to you, probably yep. land on you if you wanted. Technically flying foxes. Oh yeah, F sorry. Flying foxes. But uh, there's hundreds of them. Of course. There's penguins and they're swimming. Not the best view, but these guys are so hard to find sometimes. It is a giant Pacific octopus. We were in the desert. Dome? Yep. Is that what it's called? And this is a cliff sprayer. And you have, what is this guy's? He's a rock hyrax. He's really cute. And uh, you have a turtle down here. It's a very well done exhibit. One type of animal I don't think we've ever seen in a zoo before is a spring hoss. It's really cute, especially whenever it hops around. I don't think the train is running, just the tram right now. This zoo has done very, very well with baby elephants. I think they had five in the last three years. They're all over here. You can kind of see the small little one. We'll see if we can get a better view with the two-month-year-old one kind of walking behind the bigger one. There's also a smaller one right here. And then all the way in the back. Here's a much better view of that small little baby elephant. It is two months old. It is so much smaller than the others. We spent about five and a half hours at the Omaha Zoo and there was a few attractions closed, the sky ride I really wanted to do in the train. So we probably could have spent about six, six and a half hours there if those were open. But it was really, really cool. The, in, uh, the jungle, the desert, we saw gorillas, baby giraffes, elephants. baby elephants, bongos. Uh, the sl was awesome. Yeah, sloth bear. Very, very good. Sloth bear. <laughs> Highly recommend. Definitely a top zoo in the country. Look at this fantastic mural that's on our lunch location. For lunch, we're stopping at Dinker's, Omaha's best burger. We did order the steakhouse burger, which is sauteed onions, cheese, uh, A1 sauce, and then like a cheddar, grilled cheddar roll. Looks really good. We only got one. Unfortunately, they only take cash, and uh, we didn't have much cash, so we're just going to share this. Another mural at our next location, this major brewing company. We grabbed some tasters while we were here, and everything's really, really solid. Eight. We grabbed eight tasters. Eight tasters. Um, I think the Welcome Wanderer is my favorite, but I'm a very fruity IPA person. But everything has been really, really good. And they dabble in like higher ABV stuff too, like a lot of 7% and 8%. I love the bar. And then they also have a mural here inside as well. Definitely um, not corporate either, which I enjoy. Continuing on our trail, we found our way to Kennefick Park, which is home to the Lorenzen Gardens, which is a big botanical garden. It looks really cool. Um, it costs about $16 to go in. They're not open for that long. So we're not going to do that, but we did want to come to this park anyway. And now stairs to get where we need to go. And this is why you come up here. They've got two big old locomotives. Omaha was the uh, the eastern terminus of the Union Pacific Railroad that connected the, the middle of the country to the west. And uh, yeah, so they got these two awesome trains on top of the hill. This is, uh, it's, it's way bigger than the train at Cedar Point. This park is free, or this section of the park is free. And apparently this is known as the big boy. Yes, a, a listener recommended us to come here. He said, go see the big boy on the hill. And I thought it was the hamburger restaurant or like a, a big boy statue. And um, that was not the case at all, but this is very neat. It is, it's very different. Look at this mural at the dog bar. I have made friends here at the dog bar. 
We've made a lot of friends sitting in these chairs. I do really like places like this. Uh, first of all, I mean, they got $5 old fashions. I get to hang out in an Adirondack rocking chair and make friends with dogs. Uh, doing the in loop stuff is great, but with traveling all the time, I love dogs, but I really I can't have a dog because of this. I'm on the road, you know, every week doing all sorts of in loop shenanigans. So coming somewhere like this and getting to play with dogs and drink a beer, this, this is like perfect. I suppose we should probably leave here and see other things in Omaha as much as I want to just stay and look at all these dogs. And it's fun, like, we've here probably 40 minutes or so, and like, the dogs just, they all change up. Yeah, there's different dogs coming and going. I know, it's so nice. For dinner is block 16. Food does look fantastic. We got a croque garçon burger, big piece of ham and an egg on there. This I'm really excited about. The whole reason I wanted to come here. It is a poutine burrito. We also got a couple of local beers. Uh, the beers were really cheap. The beers were like $4. The, the burrito was about 14 along with the burger. Vanilla bean blonde, very good, but man, poutine burrito. After having a couple bites, the burger, pretty solid. It is a really good burger. The sauce on it's really good. Yes. The poutine, it is exactly what you think it is, but, but it is really amazing. Well done. Yeah, no, it is amazing. Taking a stroll after our wonderful, wonderful meal. And now we're at the Spirit of Nebraska Wilderness. Yeah, bison and geese. And it doesn't really work with the sun, but it's on the light post too. Yeah, that's cool. It is. I really like the, the geese sculpture's neat. Yes. Well, walking to our next destination, we see Pioneer Courage Park. Very similar style of like uh, sculptures. Yes. We are going to spend probably the rest of the evening in this area called the Old Market. It's a really cool mural and section of town. Let's go find that cheeky bar. I think this is also kind of adorable, the clock tower. I think. Well, we found what you thought would be adorable. Yeah, the tiki bar. Um, I'm a huge fan of tiki bars. Haven't been to one actually in quite some time. But when we go to New City, I always try and find one. And here in Omaha, it's La Colono. You walk down the stairs and you're greeted by this octopus. We're going to do some tiki magic. That's going to help us survive the dead. At the tiki bar, I went with a head game. You went with the classic zombie. My go-to any tiki bar. Yes. Checking out a shop called Imaginarium. They have a giant Ronald McDonald holding the Burger King mascot. Oh, this, this store could be problems. Even like looking at this one display, there's Roger Rabbit riding Betty the Cab from Disneyland. The Fry Guys, and then Bret Hart when he gets spotted on The Simpsons. The stores keep going and going and going, but it's very interesting because you have stuff that's very modern, and then things that are very throwback to the 80s and 90s. Well, we might have found the most terrifying things you can buy, which is costume characters' heads. Like Bert without a nose. Like that's just terrifying. A very old Donald Duck. I mean, this is a something else. Okay, you remember this toy? Yeah, I had this growing up. It was a, a Ghostbusters toy, and it would roll it because he's got wheels in the bottom. And when you would roll him, he looks like a normal toilet, but then his eyes pop up and his tongue pops out. Uh, very interesting. Well, I believe that was quite a place. It was really awesome. Uh, a lot of the prices were, I think, a little bit higher than they should be, but the place is so cool. Uh, and they got this, like, from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the the person draft, like, this was in the fun house. Yep. Covered in cotton candy with the person behind it. Having another drink at the Dublin Tur Pub? Yeah, they said, uh, we saw an ad earlier. They had 100 beers, so got to give it a whirl. There you go. 
when you travel you find things and you stumble upon them and sometimes you love what you find and sometimes not so much we paid five dollar cover car charge per person and we got a menu it was not a hundred beers like they stated or over a hundred beers there is no prices on the beer we ordered two things she opened our bottle and then told us oh that, by the way that's twelve dollars each but she did not open the second one. Yeah, she <laughs> realized one. what she did and didn't open up the second one. Very friendly. Uh-uh. But it's uh gonna be damn good. I'm drinking a twelve dollar beer right here. You're drinking a uh, six dollar like peanut butter stout, it's fantastic. Yeah. And uh there's music on hopefully soon. I did really like the band. Yeah, the band was really good. And the $12 beer, I'll give them some slack because it was from England. They didn't tell us, but it was from England. It was pretty tasty. It was. Both beers were. They have a cow, and then over here, a chicken. You ever, you ever watch that cartoon too? Cow and chicken? Yeah. Not much. That wasn't my favorite either. Next, another brewing company called Upstream. We got a flight. I really enjoyed this seltzer. It's on, on nit nitro, yeah. which I've never seen before. Interesting and then, stuff here too, like a Belgian quad stuff on cast. Mhm. Mm I like the pursuit of juicing it as well. Yeah. And then we got a quarter of cheese curds. Very small. Yeah, not many. We go to a lot of breweries and I've never seen this before. On the way out, they have a Buy some weird bread. bunch of bread of grains that couldn't become beer. Well, I guess we're going in this brewery. The sign says so. As we make our way to the final bar, I had four shots of high proof stuff and uh, this, this mural is also weird. Our final stop of the evening still has Christmas lights. And I'm going there based on name alone. It's Mr. Toad. Yeah, shocker. The beer is really good. And they do have nods to Mr. Toad right here. There's stained glass windows. There's, I was going to say there's Toad of Toad of Hall. There's another toad all the way over on this side over here. They also have stained glass windows all around. And I believe these are church pews. There are toads on bookshelves over here. I really like this one right here. He's cool. While we were in Omaha, we stayed at the Country Inn Suites by the airport. It's a pretty good bed. Yep. Room was clean. Yep. Big, big room. And their breakfast was pretty solid. The hotel did smell like weed pretty much the entire time of our two nights stay. Yes, it did. And now we are moving hotels and going to Lincoln for the day. Here's a look at that breakfast. Uh, bagels potatoes, sausages. They did have biscuits and gravy yesterday. And of course, a waffle machine. This water tower is a tea cup. Tea kettle, I think. Tea kettle? Yeah, it's definitely a tea kettle. Well, we made it to Lincoln, and now I feel like I'm back in Florida. <laughs> we are, are at the Museum of American Speed. <laughs> Going to check out what it has to offer. Looks cool. I don't know much about race cars or cars in general, but this place is very, very impressive so far with the way that they display and tell information about the cars. Look at this thing. Look at this car, it's from 1937. Apparently, it is a gold razzle berry pink color. It's a very interesting design, and I can't imagine how much this cost in 1937. 
This is something else. It went 417 miles per hour. Very, very interesting. Very different. And just whenever I thought 417 miles an hour was a lot, this thing went 576 miles per hour. They do have like everything you can think of. I think I found my room in the car museum. It is all toy cars, pedal cars, wagons, things I actually know about. As bells are ringing in the background, we are now at the state capitol here in Lincoln. I believe there's a free observation tower at the very, very top. When you enter, you're greeted by this grand entry hallway with some paintings. Really cool architecture style. It is. Look at that ceiling. The tile floor, and then you look up. There's a chandelier, and I think, is that a mosaic or a painting? I'm not sure, but it's really pretty. There is literally no signs of where to go. So we're just going to uh, push all the way to the top in this very, very small elevator. I don't think we're moving. The buttons don't work. Okay, so we're getting a new elevator. Let's get out. I think we found the right elevator. So let us push the button. It it's has so more. It's so old. It's very, very old and so tiny in here. We made it up to the 14th floor in another giant room trying to find a door to go outside. Well, we found the door that was open. Maybe there's another one. Because this view... Scenic, scenic Nebraska. <laughs> yes, it's definitely over the neighborhood. We'll see if we can find a different view. I can't get a shot of it really well, but the courtyard looks really pretty. We found the side with the open door in the city view. And all the way in the distance, you see the jumbotron of the football, football stadium. stadium. Kind of neat. It definitely feels very European. Yes. Uh, a lot of European churches and state buildings, well not state buildings, uh, but governmental buildings have observation towers just like this. It's definitely neat. It is free. And uh, why not? We're going back downstairs. But look at that. The old tiny, tiny uh, dial of the elevator actually works. Just like the Tower of Terror. Yes, going all the way up to get us. There are no maps, no signs. We went to floor one, thinking that's the floor that we were on when we entered. But we found the courtyard. It is pretty as it looks now, if only we could upstairs. Find a car. <laughs> Lunch time, and we're at a very popular local chain called Runza. Our food has arrived. We went with a basic cheese burger. And then I believe this is more what they're known for. It is their cheese runza sandwich. It kind of looks like a quashi to me, like from uh, Bucky's. We'll see how it tastes. He pointed out it's like a hot pocket, and it kind of is. It has cabbage in it, and the cabbage definitely overpowers a lot of the sandwich. The fries are fantastic. The fries are really good. After lunch, we decided to go to another zoo, this time the Lincoln Children's Zoo. Probably not going to be as, here as long as we were at the Omaha Zoo the other day. But we're going to show off some of the animals that we didn't get to see very well at the Omaha Zoo. You get a much better view of the cheetahs today. We do. Look at the little red pandas. Their faces are adorable. I'm glad we got to see them in the Omaha Zoo. Uh, they were sleeping and you couldn't see them, 
So, there's the little face. Another animal we didn't really get to see much of at the Omaha Zoo. A t pretty, pretty tiger. Uh, Agoonies are so cute. They're adorable and they're right against the glass, which I'm really shocked about. Right now we're on the campus of the University of Nebraska and we're going to check out Morrill Hall, which is the State Museum of Natural History. Greeted by this wonderful mammoth up front. This is really cool and neat of how you can see the skeletons of elephants and mammoths evolve. Molly, look how cute the dwarf mammoth probably was. That would be really, really it's cute. Like a, it's like a mammoth the size of a small, a big dog. Yes. This very, <laughs> I was going to say very, very small compared to the other ones. But uh, very well done with the way that they present it. Yeah, I had no idea there were this many species of mammoths. I had no idea that between 34 and 37 million years ago, the most common species in Nebraska and Colorado was a rhino. Oh this is a really, really, really neat way of displaying this skeleton. Sure. Oh, there's more over here. It's really neat. Well done. He is a very giant bison. I do like these types of exhibits where they have the globe and projections and movie playing. I prefer the giant bison. In very sad news, the third floor is under construction. Therefore, we didn't get to see the dinosaur gallery. But the museum was really well done. Yeah, very interesting learning all about the animals that live in Nebraska now and used to live here. Mm -hmm. And we talked to a scientist for a little while. Yeah. And she was very knowledgeable and smart. Well, since the real dinosaur exhibit was closed and we couldn't see them, decided to play mini golf with them. I wanted to come to this mini golf course because they have wacky stuff like this. This hole, you use a zip line. Go, Molly, go! Uh, Molly did better than me. <laughs> Here's our friends, the dinosaurs we couldn't see at the museum. Now with this hole in one, if you get it in the T-Rex mouth over here, it's a hole in one. I'm just, oh, you were very close. Very, very close. But no T-Rex mouth. So these are always fun. If you spin it, it tells you what you need to do. So... Take a source seat. Choose an opponent to attempt his or her shot holding the putter behind their back. Well, that's you on the next hole, Molly. Oh, uh, yeah. I already had a putt with my eyes closed. And I was nowhere near the hole. Uh, this one starts as pinball. You gotta drop it in there. Uh, almost, almost. Oh no, no. oh, no! Well, that's not gonna be good. Nope. Yeah, her ball's all the way over here. <laughs> She's gotta shoot it that away. Okay, this is quite the hole. You putt from up there, and then you put your club in this sh chute next to the slide, and then to get down here where your ball is, you slide down into a foam pit. And it's definitely, definitely a huge drop getting, getting into that foam pit. And it took uh, some effort, depending on how you land, of getting out. We are on hole 17, and it's a giant 10-foot loop-de-loop here. I failed miserably. You got it right away. Now, we only played one of the courses here, but we played the red one. And our course looked a little bit more Fun. adventurous, yes. Um, I had a blast. This is one of my favorite mini golf courses I've ever played. They have a bunch in the Omaha and Lincoln area. and. Um, but we didn't play very well, Molly. No. I like you. They give you a website, and you keep track of your website, the the scores on on the website. Uh, the par was 42. Mm -hmm. Molly, you came in second place with 70, and I got a 61. I was winning for a good long time, and then the last hole I got 10, 
and I think you got a three or something. Yeah, this is a blast. Though. This is it was fun. really fun. Up next on our venture in Lincoln is Shields, which apparently is a sporting goods store. And I'm guessing this is part of the reason why we were told to come here. They have an aquarium. And then if you turn around, they have a Ferris wheel inside. Very uh, unique place here. And uh, they also have animatronics of a Lincoln and Thomas Jefferson. They also have Rollerball here, which is a really good deal. It's a dollar for five frames per person, so we paid two dollars. Terrible shot. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> On the cruise ship, these are usually like seven to ten dollars, so one dollar is a really good deal. Well, he won because he got a spare in the other one. Also, it doesn't register if you don't knock down any pens. So, you gotta go <laughs> one more time than I did. Bowling champion. Well, that was uh, quite the place here. We did go on the Ferris wheel. You can film on the Ferris wheel. And then we got uh, beef jerky and uh, how was that chair? Awesome. Awesome. Well, mistakes do happen on vacation. Yeah, this was a whoops. This was right by our hotel room, so we decided to walk here. Even though it says Woo! tap room, it is no longer a tap room. They just make the barrier onward to get some food because it is dinner time. We made it to the hay market. Where we're going to spend most of our evening starting with dinner. Dinner time, of course, we had to get some beer. I went with the half liter of Heffenweiss. He I had to. For the full moss. Yep, he did, he did. And we are going to be splitting a cheddar sausage roll. Looks good. It looks really, really tasty. Well, going to our next destination, we wandered into Hertz Donut which we've had these donuts before and they're really good. So we had to get a donut. We went for the brownie donut. We found our next destination after our donut, which was delicious. And we're at the Boiler Brewing Company. And uh, we'll see which ones we like. We'll review. There's gonna be a couple very high ABV. Mine is like a 17 percent right here. Yeah, mine is only a, like a 5 percent, but I wanted to balance it out. This one was a little harder to find as well. I really enjoyed the mango cheesecake. It was on the sour side, but it was really good. I believe you like the Bahama Mama. Sour. Sour. Uh, but their high AVVs was not as strong. Like they did taste high, but they were good. I'm feeling them, I think. Yeah. We wandered into Laszlo's and I'm drinking a black and blueberry ale, very good. We got a snack, something we had never heard of. And by snack, it is gigundo. Yeah, it is. My a, hand. It is the size of Here's the pizza. Our snack. Yeah, it's the size of the pizza. What is it called? A lavash. And we got uh, bacon, ham, and chicken. And chicken on it. And then you're drinking a pineapple IPA. It's IPA. really good. This is fabulous. Yeah. It's not as heavy as you would think. Some of the middle pieces are. But I could eat way more. I didn't think I was going to be this hungry. It's like, it's like a it's, cracker, not like a flatbread or a pizza. Okay, it is like a cracker. And then we have, again, the three toppings and cheese. The cheese is a really high quality yeah. cheese. Very good. For our one night in Lincoln, we stayed at the Super 8. Lincoln West, I believe it's called. It was a decent room. Um, I really like that chair right there. Chair's good. Uh, however, the Pillow. pillows, not so much at all. And uh, the bed was okay. Yeah, it was very cheap and very clean. So. Yes, and they had a very minimum breakfast, but they did have pancakes. Good morning, it is our final day here in Nebraska. In between Lincoln and Omaha, they have a drive-through 
Safari Park. It's called Wildlife Safari. It's operated by the Henry Dorley Zoo. I believe it's a lot more native animals to this area. With lots of room. Uh, lots and lots of room. We are currently about probably like one third of the way through it looks yeah. like on the map. And they let you stop and we're at Crane Hill Outlook. So there's a couple cranes right here. We're at Big Tower. We found the wolf. We did not find the black bear. But the wolf right there walking around. They have a massive, massive area. So very impressive that we were able to find it. We've gone to quite a few drive through safaris before, but this is a first. Midway, you get out of your car, and uh, there's a trail, and it's a... Long trail. <laughs> it's not even a mile trail. Really? I feel like you've been here forever. <laughs> no, it said it was a sixth of a mile, I think it said. I think it's lying. <laughs> you think it's lying? Uh, but it's very interesting, very different. Very of course, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can continue with the drive through Well, I guess that hill that we went up was worth it as three wolves just kind of walked by. There's one down there and then two on this path. This is a very long process. <laughs> And it doesn't help what someone says, I think a pathway leads this way, closer to the bears. And I'm looking at a map and I said, I don't think so. And we take that loop and it does not. Molly was right. <laughs> On the drive through safari, we saw some elk. You got a really good view of bison. And now, Prairie Dog Town. Prairie Dog Town. Pretty adorable. It is lunchtime. We are at eating at Porky Butts Barbecue, and it is a great sign. We got a two meat plate to share with briskets and burnt ends, kettle chips, mashed potatoes, and cornbread. Looks delicious. Smells really good too. After that delicious, delicious meal, we're gonna drive, grab a drink now. It is really, really busy and crowded here, but they have really solid beers. Uh, the tiramisu is one of the best, as well as the sprinkles in April was really, really good. But sprinkles every in April is a cookies and cream stout. Yes, but uh, very solid. We had the peach uh, ring dreams. We had the satchel, which is a blonde with a peanut butter and marshmallow. Everything really, really good. In the distance over there, there is the slide park. It was originally on our list of things to do, but... Can't see it all. No, uh, time got away from us. So here we are driving to our next destination, and I think we are going to miss that slide park. Another place that we were considering is the Science Museum. It looks giant, but again, we don't have as much time as we needed to. Things do take longer sometimes. Traffic. And they did have an adult only time. Yeah, that would have been that would have been good. That would have been great. But we arrived during the adults only time. Like we landed. In 800 feet, turn right. We're turning right. Well, we made it to our next destination. And this is Omar. He's a troll that lives under the bridge. Yes, he is. Omar lives below the bridge. Apparently the bridge name is called Bob. And this is why Bob is very popular. It's a, a pedestrian bridge that com connects Nebraska and Iowa. Now I'm in Iowa. Now I'm in Nebraska. And then now I'm having a walk to remember moment of being in two places at once. Apparently that's called bobbing. Yeah, it's a thing. Who knew? Look at this! I love it! Hi. Our last and final brewery on our trip. We made it back to the airport. That last brewery was really good as well. A lot of high 14 percenters and decent. Uh, one of the friendliest bartenders too. Yes. 
And we'll, that will do it for our quick trip here in Omaha. I think our favorite food item was both that poutine burrito. Did you, we, didn't, we did a lot of bars and breweries. Did you have a favorite bar or brewery? Uh, probably Voss uh, Major. For me, Dog Bar. Oh uh, yeah, dogs, that and makes a bar. sense, yeah. Um, the zoo is truly world class, it, it was is. fantastic. That was um, definitely the highlight attraction. Yeah, but I had a blast, we did so much stuff in 72 hours. I am, I'm now pretty tired. <laughs>